Hello and welcome to Feast One's Eyes on Goodies. I bought my radiator fan off Amazon. However, I had to wait two weeks for this to arrive because they're all imported from China. The next consideration is the cost. Now, these cost £45.95. And I actually got a little bit of a voucher for this. So before you consider anything else, you've got to consider, is it worth buying one? The radiator ventilation fan comes with an instruction manual and the good news is it's all in English and it is quite legible as well and I would recommend that when you buy one that you have a look through this and it, it does again explain the functionality of the fan and how to assemble it and how it works. The radiator fan comes with a, an English or UK plug and it's got a USB connection on the back. This is a little thermostat that goes onto the radiator and it's magnetic. This is the controller and it's got plus and minuses on either side for setting this up. And again, the cable is quite long. And then you've got the fan. Now this fan looks something like a computer fan. It's got three fans on there. And you can see at the back of these, or just on the sides I should say, there's some magnets as well. They open up and just lock into your radiator. Just to clarify the cabling, you have on here a 50 centimeter extension cable with a type C connector on both ends thermostat with connector cable each end 80 centimeters with a type c connector you've got a power adapter and then a magnetic temperature sensor with a 100 centimeter cable with a type c connector for my heat pump installation i needed a larger radiator in the lounge and this is it. Now this was put in by Octopus Energy and this goes from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. Now when you're looking at this you realize that it has to circulate heat around. However these radiators don't get as hot as a normal boiler so putting a radiator fan on here makes sense to me and that's exactly what I have done and it does help circulate the air around the lounge now it doesn't make the room any warmer it doesn't induce any more heat into the radiator it just circulates hot air and I've fitted the radiator fan just at the top of this radiator I'll show you this in a minute with the radiator fan you can set temperatures as low and as high as you like. I put this at a minimum of 19 on here. So when it, the radiator drops to 19 degrees, it turns the fan off and then it will turn itself on as the radiator gets warm. So quite a good little device this. Now this is the magnetic sensor. I'm just putting it onto the front of the radiator so you can actually have a look at this. And this is uh, again a wired device that helps control the turning on and off of the radiator. It's got a little sensor just inside of it. I've just placed the radiator fan just on the top so you can actually see the length of this in comparison with the size of the radiator. Now that's not its normal position. It will now just drop down in between the veins and then it will just work by blowing the air that comes out from there and helps circulate this around my room. Now to give you some idea of how much work this radiator has to do, I'm now standing in my kitchen and the radiator is obviously on the other side where my lounge is. Now in the kitchen, other than like the cooking appliances, there is no other heat source. In my lounge, there is one other radiator which is on the opposite side of the room. So with the radiator fan, this helps circulate the heat over to the opposite side of the room. So for me, the purchase of this is worth it. What you will have to do is decide whether this is useful for you as well. 
I do hope you've enjoyed looking at this review. Please remember that I do lots of other reviews on other interesting items as well. It would also help my channel immensely if you liked and subscribed. Thank you and goodbye. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.